grinding, doing what I love to do, shopping the tools, keeping on top of everything. Just can't wait now, you know, uh, August the 7th and the new. You've got to just be focused in what you're doing, you know, and, and that's what I do. You know, I don't let anything around me, you know, bother me. You know, the pandemic, it was just one of them things, what could you do? You've got to just keep on grinding, keep on doing what you do. And that's it, I didn't, I didn't stop training. Because I knew one, you know, the pandemic's not going to last forever. You know, it could have lasted, you know, two weeks or two years or five years. It didn't matter to me because I knew when it finishes, I'm in line for a world title shot. When I box on a Saturday, Monday morning, I'm back in the gym and I'm working on my craft. So I didn't need the pandemic, you know, to fine tune things or get better. You know, every day I'm in the gym, I'm trying to get better. I didn't need this time to, you know, think, oh, right, yeah, you know, I'm not going to be partying for the next three weeks let me just get back in the gym and do this i'm always on it and that's it you know when when i get in that ring august the 7th you'll, you'll see the difference if he didn't want to find me then he didn't want to find me that's it you know i'm not going to sit there and say oh sit you know oh he's this and he's that he thought he was trying to be smart vacating the title and it's kind of you know backfired on him and he's in a position now he's being beat by someone he shouldn't have got beat by and you know he's He's gonna have to work his way back, his way back to that position again. You know, instead of just taking what he says, you know, he's a proper champion. He should have just boxed me. If he's a champion and he and he wants to fight, you know, at the end of the day, if you're a proper champion, like he, the talk he was given before the fight, you know, I'm a champion and I want to fight this, and I fight, you know, the best and all this stuff. Well, everyone's got to fight the mandatories. AJ just boxes mandatory. Golovkin just boxes mandatory. Canelo's boxes mandatory. What's the difference between what? So is he in a better? Is he better than them? No, he's not. You know, at the end of the day, I just felt like, you know, he felt like he lost that fight mentally, and as a fight, you know when you lose a fight, and I know he knows he lost that fight, and he just thought, well, if I get in there again, you know, he's probably going to flatten me, so I might as well vacate, but you know, it ends up even worse. He's in a worse position because he ended up getting knocked out by someone, you know who was ranked something like 70 in the world. At least if he got beat by me, he would have got beat by number three, not number 70. But you know, I don't understand when people like other fighters like another fighter off. When a British fighter fights a foreign fighter, you don't even know, you know, we had a bit of, you know, competition. I still wanted them to win. I wouldn't want them get, to get beat by someone, you know, from a different country. Of course I wouldn't, he's English and I'd want him to, to win. And that was it, you know, I'd, so that was the thing with me. I don't, of course, I always want to see any fighter from England beat another, you know, foreign fighter because as long as we've got more world champions, it's better for everyone else. Everyone's path in life's different and, you know, mine might have been a bit tougher than other people's, but that's just how it goes, you know, and that's just, it's part of life, isn't it? You know, some people have an easy route, some, some people don't, you know, and that's just how it is. And, um, I just, I, I enjoy it and I love what I do and that's it, you know, and I just can't wait. I can't wait to get in there and look, when you, when you go the tougher route, you learn things and things mean more to you than when you get given. You know, if you've earned it, it's a different thing. And even Jazza to a certain degree's earned it. I don't believe, I don't believe he's earned it as much as me, but he's definitely earned, you know, fighting for this world title. In my life, you know, uh, Brendan was a very, very, um, he played a big role. Because if it wasn't for Brendan, you know, no one really gave me no hope when I was a kid apart from Brendan. And, you know, I was a troubled kid always into trouble. And even when I walked into this gym, you know, we had people in this gym. And they were like, oh, Brendan, don't spend no time with him. He's not going to do nothing. He's too much trouble. And Brendan said, no, he's not. He's going to win everything. Here. And uh, I just can't wait, you know, pick up that world title. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's just not me winning that world title, it's Brendan too. When we get in there, August the 7th, it's gonna be, you know, I'm not one of these guys who, you know, he's boxing his last four or five fights. I'm a different kettle of fish. The IBF Featherweight World Championship. Sheffield against Liverpool. There is nothing quite like a domestic rivalry, a domestic world championship fight between two great fighters looking to become world champion. August the 7th, live at Fight Camp. The thing is, I've actually done about, you know, 
60, 70 rounds, probably more with Jazza Dickens. When I boxed Claudio Moreira, I actually sparred Jazza Dickens. And, you know, I've known him for a long time with friends. And, you know, any time I ever spot, fight a southpaw, I always spar with Jazza because he's a good southpaw, you know. And, uh, but look, at the end of the day, when we get in there, you know, friendship's going to be pushed to the side. And that's it, you know, where seek and destroy, that's it. I'm not in, you know, I'm not here to make friends and everything else. I'm, I'm, when I get in there, I'm there to, to win. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, if, you're, if you've just won this Sunday League, you know, tournament, football tournament, doesn't mean you're going to win the Premiership, does it? You know, and that's the difference, you know, getting in with me is a different kettle of fish to getting in with all them guys who he's boxed, you know, his last 10, 20 opponents, you know, where it doesn't matter who he's boxed. I believe I've boxed in a higher category and I believe I've took less punishment than him. And I believe, you know, I've, the wins I've got, I've done in a better fashion than he has. He's very good, you know, well-rounded. He's, uh, he can do a bit of everything. Jazz, I just believe, you know, I'm better than him in every little department, you know. It's just, whatever he does, I can do better. But he can, he is very well-rounded. He can do everything. And, you know, the thing is, he can say, oh yeah, I've got the momentum and everything else. Well, he can have the momentum. Doesn't mean really nothing, does it? When we get in that ring August the 7th, you know, it's just going to be me and him in that, in that ring, no one else. And then that's when it's going to matter, isn't it? I've earned it the hard way and I'm going to win this world title in, 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 in a spectacular fashion. And I'm going to be a world champion for a long time, you know, uh, I'm not going to let go of that championship. And uh, I just can't wait. Listen, you just got to win this fight and then, you know, it gets even harder and then you've got to even, you know, maintain it even more then and that's it, you know. I'm always fully focused and on what I do and uh, I just can't wait, you know, I just can't wait there to get in there and, and take what's mine. I've just got to do what I've got to do, you know, I don't, Jazza can, he can bring a few different styles and I've just got to go in there and win the fight anyway in any form, you know, and that's the, the game is to, to hit and not get hit. Got to go in there and, you know, uh, not just beat him, but absolutely, you know, uh, make sure, you know, they don't, you know, do what they did against me, against, you know, Warrington. I've got to go in there and do a number on him. And then you, and that's what I'm going to do, you know, when I get in there, I'm going to give it to him. 100% tell him to make sure he prepares. I know he's going to prepare well, but when we get in that ring, August the 7th, it's going to... There ain't no friends in there, mate. He's going to get seriously, seriously hurt.